We invite a lot of collaboration with other researchers and we also conduct research ourselves. Um, one example is a recent project on healthy families trying to assess how families managed during COVID and we partnered with the staff there to figure out what to ask and how to do it. So people at the university have certain kinds of knowledge and training and expertise and people in the community have certain skills and knowledge and training and expertise and they don't necessarily overlap but when you work together you get to take advantage of what both groups bring to consider forming a problem, uh, responding to a problem, and solving a problem. We met with community members and we said, what are you interested in? What are you looking for in terms of programming? And then we described a possible read aloud program at the library. And what they said to us was, please don't be coming over here with your experts and a lot of students uh, uniquely Please ask us to be involved. We want to be doing this too, with you, alongside you. So that's what we did with students, of course, but we developed a community readers program that was so entertaining and um, interesting and thought provoking. So another great benefit for us here is that we can bring back everything we've learned from the community and gained in the community to our classrooms and share in discussion with our students. But even better is when we go out with our students, undergraduates and graduates have been really important in everything I've done, and work side by side with them. Uh, because community work can be um, surprising and unexpected, and I think in every case that I've seen, it has been absolutely transformative for the students involved.